Hey Aquarius, what's up Aqua? Welcome back to the channel. It is actually here at Fire Intuition. I got my voice back y'all. Um, we are about to hop into this reading. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius. Do keep in mind that this is general. Know that it may or may not resonate with all of the Aquarius out there. But if it does, show Fire some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. And if you guys love to book, you already know, fireintuition.com. Alrighty. Um, the Mother's Day box is on sale on my online store, mytearsapealmaha.com. So if you guys want to check that out, all the information is in the description box below. Pin in the comments. Are you guys going to hop over to my um, website? Alright, so let's see. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Messages for Aquarius. Oh, damn, y'all got messages. Okay, so we got the key. Let me see. Okay, so ask and you shall receive. All right, yes. Yeah, so y'all need to ask for something that y'all want. The universe is saying ask and you shall receive. And whatever this is, it's going to be beautiful. You're going to celebrate. All right, they're giving you the key to something. Or right, you have the key, you have access. You're opening doors or opening a door or about to open some doors. Okay. Um, I like how the messages is flowed out. But whatever this is, you're going to be really happy and celebrating something. Okay. Acknowledgement. Yeah. Awakening. Like something new is coming in. Something that you've been paying attention to. You got your eye on. You've been observing. Like something's going to be really good for you. All right. So I'm loving that. I'm loving that for your message. Um. So, yes, Aquarius, ask you shall receive, okay? Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. What's the point of your love life? You want to look at your person's feelings, their intentions, and what they want and need from you. comes to the collective Aquarius collective Aquarius collective Aquarius placements what are your person's feelings towards you what are your person's feelings towards you no are y'all going through a breakup cups in reverse we do have the death card in reverse you guys can be dealing with a scorpio but somebody is not happy about a breakup the cups in reverse. Not long in reverse. Mm. okay well i'll say this as soon as y'all broke up they went to the third party so it's like Mm, I don't know, but they don't want to end things with you, though, Aquarius. This is weird. They want to come back to you, but it seems like every time you guys keep breaking up with them, they keep going back to this other person. All right, that could be why you guys are breaking up with this person, because there is somebody else in the picture. And you're like, yeah, there's no way we can be together. You know, I'm not going to be with you if you're doing that. Come here. Don't do that again, please. Make that your last time. Please and thank you. Sorry, y'all. All right, so we have the Six of Swords in reverse. Let me see. I, I don't know. I'm getting a mixed energy, Aquarius, because it's like... Your person wants to be with you and they want to commit to you, but they keep doing everything opposite of that. It's like, because I, I just feel like, okay, if you want to be with me and commit to me, then why are you, like, why are you doing what you're doing? I don't know. It seems weird. Because it's like, they don't want to, they don't want to be with the other person. They don't want to mess around, but then they do. So that doesn't make sense. They want to be a family. We got the Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. They want to commit to you, but they're not.
Going to this uh, death quite on the They also feel like you're not taking them serious, so. Mm. So they, it's, it's like this. They want to be with you, but they feel like you don't want to be with them. Or y'all keep breaking up. And so they feel like um, when y'all break up and because you don't want them, they'll go be with whoever wants them. Like they, like they have to be wanted or something like that. Like they're like, okay, this other person is fighting for me. This other person cares for me. Well, then stay there. I don't know. This is weird, Aquarius. Because it's like for somebody to want y'all so bad, and that wants to be in a relationship or a commitment. I don't understand how they keep going towards somebody else. I don't see how they keep. Um, I don't see how they keep um, going towards this other situation. I don't know. It's. I don't know. and chill piss I'm mad and embarrassed I just need some time to figure out my next move I can't stop thinking about what happened so that's what I'm saying like they don't think they don't think and it keeps putting them in bad situations with you that's what I feel like this is about you know because they're pissed open to the possibility of us that's what I'm saying like for the way I'm seeing the cards as bad as they want you why do they keep doing stuff that's gonna fuck up what y'all got I do not understand Aquarius, please explain it to me. I do not understand. No more second chances. Third, fourth, or fifth. It's over. I've had enough. Okay? So, maybe y'all are at the point where y'all are like, no more chances. Alright? I know we just hung up, but I miss you already. So, you know, maybe they're trying to, like, get you to give in. They keep calling, texting, wanting you to respond. This seems, just like, like I said again, super weird to me, though, Aquarius, because... I see in the cards how bad they want you, but then I see that they're not doing what a person is supposed to be doing if they want to be with somebody. So let's see their intentions. We have the Hermit in reverse, the Moon in reverse. See, that's what I'm saying. When you don't want to be with them, they'll go towards something new rather than be alone and really think about it. You know, they just, they rather go to somebody else. Oh, this person wants me. Oh, I'll just go towards something new. I'm not about to sit in my feelings over you. Fuck that. Fuck you. Like, they just, they just, they do the most. They do the most. Could be a Virgo or a Pisces here. Let me see. if Page of Wands. Yeah, see? They get upset. They get in their feelings. And this is a lot of sexual energy. I tell you, they want to go where they feel loved and appreciated or where they get love and attention. See? And they, like, betray you. You know, they, there's a somebody that they call friends. There's a situation that's more than just a friend. Yeah, let me see something. Yeah, they're more than friends. Let me see, what is this situation? They're not being honest with you about this. So let me see. Are they more than friends? Them and this person? Yeah, they're more than friends. And they're in an open relationship with them. And I feel like this person just came around about a year ago. And I feel like for some of you, you're like, okay, like if y'all been friends or this is your friend, why am I just not finding out about them? Or this friend just start coming around a lot more. They are more than friends. They're fucking. See, look. I hear fine in reverse again. I got your fine in reverse. They do want to be with them, too. 
like the per like the friend does. Let me see something. Y'all know when I have to pull out these babies. What's really going on? Let's see. What a curious. I ain't pulled cool these out for no other sign yet. person that is around a person's person situation shit what did i just tell you they put a trauma bonded love triangle what did i tell you so this is the third party this is the other person we got situation shit trauma bonding acting crazy so and then we got unplanned pregnancy in reverse so with it being in reverse and acting crazy i feel like this person may try to Lie and say they're pregnant by your person, or you know, like, oh, I think you got me pregnant, or something like that. Yeah, if they ghost them, because something about this person or situation, they're gonna then y'all don't take uh, messages for them around, but there's something that's gonna change in this situation. Unfinished business, yeah, they're gonna feel like something isn't fair, like they got used, and they're gonna lie and say something. It could be their co worker, too, you know, but whoever this is, I fight they should have never messed with them. Cause they're gonna put themselves in a really difficult and complicated situation all right let's see um what they want from you yeah because somebody is more than a friend i'm just i'm just gonna say it what they want from you Well, for one, they don't fight like you want them. And they also feel like, um, let me see something. It's kind of like, they don't like the fact that you just let them leave. Like, when y'all get into it, like, you just let them leave. They feel like, you know, with the relationship, the marriage, like, you already, like, your mind is made up. You don't want them anyway. So, it doesn't even matter if they're there or not. They feel like you just don't really care. Why is it your wands in reverse? With the tower in reverse. Mm -hmm. They feel like you don't trust them, that you're never going to trust them. And you're going to keep bringing up the fact that you don't trust them. So that's why they do the things that they do. But And for some of you, you guys have a child together. And they feel like the only reason why you take them back is because y'all have a child. But what they want from you is for you to like... So, okay. So it kind of flipped a little bit of Aquarius because they also feel like... um. Like, you don't want this relationship either. Remember in the beginning when I was saying they act like they want this, but they don't? They feel like that's how you feel. Like, you don't really want the relationship. You may make it sound like a claim. Like, oh, I want this. I want that. Like, but they feel like you don't want the relationship. emotional support see that's what i was saying well says now's the time to to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings so they feel like um remember I, when i was like um there's something about the emotional part right remember when i was like where they feel like when you're not giving them what they want they'll go get it somewhere else yeah hold on aquarius all right, sorry, Aqua. So let's see. Enchanted love, a sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. So maybe y'all do have a sacred bond, but maybe it's just y'all just been a little off right now lately. Harvest, this card keeps coming up. You planted the seed that the universe gave you due to your patience and growth. You are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So let's see. Well, they see that's the problem. It's this third party too that's kind of like 
in the way of them giving more to this relationship. But they feel like, and don't get mad when I say this for some of y'all, with this energy here, they feel like the third party is giving them what you're not giving them. So that's why there is all this mixed energy where they want to be with you and commit. And then it's been an issue. It's a problem. You know, uh, there's just a lot going on. We have memories. Someone is walking down memory lane at this time. It's okay to reminisce about the past by looking at old photos or messages. So they can definitely be, you know, reminiscing, looking at, you know, old photos and stuff. Let's see what they are needing from you guys. See, this is what I'm saying. They, there could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Energy, or Capricorn that wants to be happy with you. Like, somebody wants to be with you. Ah, this is so confusing. They want to be happy with you. They want to be with you. How the devil reverse? But they feel like you're the problem. Five of swords, that's that. They feel like you are, like, in the way of y'all being together. They feel like you're the problem, like you don't want this. They feel like you keep giving them reasons to walk away or you keep walking away or you just don't care. You keep wanting to take breaks. Um, they feel like you're not seeing it from their perspective. Or this time, I'm just saying how they feel. They do feel like you love them, but they feel like, why is, is a, why is it so hard? So it's really on you. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Aquarius, like I said, I think that maybe there's just like a little disconnect here because I see where y'all want the same thing, but... There's just times where I feel like there's like, maybe it was just so much going on. This reading was really scattered and confused me because it's kind of like y'all are both in the same energy. Because mm -hmm. your energy is like, I work so hard. I put a lot into this relationship. I love you. I want you to be fair and honest with me. I've given to you. I've given in to you. But then with judgment here, it's like you kind of feel some type of way about continuing on with the relationship and staying in the relationship and giving into this you want to put new energy into this relationship but at the same time you don't it could just be maybe just due to a lot of things that were going on so and i don't like the fact that this other person knows our business the third party definitely knows our business so we have you don't know how much you need to me we have spoiled, so are y'all spoiled, Aquarius? We have rendezvous, see? But even though they want to be with you and all this, all these little rendezvous and stuff, so it's time for y'all to stop and look at the signs as well. We have temptation, see? They keep giving in. What look, double life. They are living a double life. We have vulnerable. See, and I don't like the fact that they feel like they can be vulnerable with this other person. Yeah, they can be open and vulnerable. This other per person is like probably patient and quiet and stuff like that. We have creative sexual energy. So somebody is into dominatrix and like freaky stuff. Like, you know, whips and chains and being tied up and, you know, whipped and shit like that. We have emotional detachment. That's what I'm talking about. See? So when, when you're not like connecting with them emotionally, they are connected with that other person. We have spying, good fortune rebel we have talking to a brick wall see things could be good but i feel like y'all are not hearing each other out and then as soon as something goes wrong they're quick to leave or you don't know if you want this you feel like you're not being heard good fortune with the queen of pentacles so see like with the queen of pentacles we got the infirm reverse you feel like it's them they started it you know they started it i'm gonna finish it they hurt me they broke my heart they put me in this situation some of you guys feel like focusing on them has affected your money and other things around you so you're just not making them your main focus anymore which i don't see nothing wrong with that but maybe you just don't know where you want like maybe you just don't know what you want to do with this relationship you know like or this commitment that could be it too maybe you're just like you know what i really don't know what i want you know um, right now but i will tell you that they are more than friends or co-workers they got it. i don't like that relationship that's why i said i don't like when they there's a card in this deck that says work boom. And I feel like it's I cannot stand work relationship. It's like so disrespectful. Like when someone's like, Oh, that's my work husband, that's my work wife, that's my boo. Like, especially when you know somebody's in a relationship, I just feel like it's so disrespectful to me, I think it is. Cause y'all pretty much are agreeing with the fact that y'all like each other and y'all flirt and talk and all the type of stuff. I just feel like there's no respect towards whoever you're in a relationship with. But that's just my opinion. So let's see messages for 
Aquarius. We have Amethyst. Is it that y'all? That's y'all birthstone. Amethyst. Hmm. And we have Transformation, Certainty, and Confidence. Number 41. Let's see. So the amethyst says, a profound transformation is taking place in your life. After much soul searching, you are now back in control. A new you is emerging, poised and with a renewed sense of confidence. You can move forward with certainty. The past is not behind you. The hard work has been done. All you have to do is decide what it is that you truly want. All is now possible. Listen to your heart and don't settle for second best. Set your course and then go for it. Be certain, be confident. And all is yours. It says, and all is yours for the taking. Blessed be. So the affirmation for this is, I give thanks for the transformation and healing that has taken place. I move through life in, with gratitude. I move through life with certainty. I move through life with confidence. I achieve my goals. What I focus on, I create. Okay? So, I love this message for you guys. And I love the fact that... Um, it's your birthstone to Amethyst, and you are Aquarius. Alrighty, so that's what I have for you guys. Definitely sending you guys lots of love. Alrighty, lots of love. Like healing energy and abundance. Um, if it resonated, Aquarius, show fire some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, you already know fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book on my online store, my tears have healed my heart.com. Alrighty, sending you guys love. Bye, y'all.